Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, we are going to discuss about payload based message filtering for AWS SMS. Okay, so what is this concept? Why we need this particular concept? Let us try to understand or let us try to develop that particular theoretical intuition first and then we will jump into the practical implementation. Okay, so let's consider here we are having some S3 bucket and we are having multiple destinations where we need to send event whenever some files get landed in this S3 location. Okay, so in this context, let's consider here we are having destination 1, destination 2 and so on up to destination n. And whenever some file will be getting landed in S3, that event I need to forward to all this destination. So here from one event, we need to broadcast to multiple destination, right? So obviously that time we generally use SNS. So what we can do from S3, that file landing event we can send to SNS and the SNS can broadcast that particular event to all connected destinations and this architecture is often called as fan out architecture pattern using AWS SNS and S3 event notification. Now let's consider one particular variation of this use case. Okay. So let's say here we are having a folder called F1 within our S3 bucket and we are having multiple destination but let's focus on only this D1 destination as of now and the business requirement is we need to send this event to D1 destination only if some files are getting landed in this S3 bucket in this F1 directory which start with test that is the file name prefix is test that can be test1.txt or that can be test2.txt or whatever. In the end part we can put anything but the file name should at least start with test. Then only that event we should forward to D1 destination for other cases. If suppose let's consider one file get landed which is having name a.txt because this particular file is not starting with test that is the prefix is not matching. So we will not forward this event to this D1 destination. So how to implement that particular feature in this architecture? Let us try to understand that. So already we have explored one particular feature and that is SNS message filtering. So what that particular feature says that along with your actual message, you can put some message attribute. And that attribute can be a JSON kind of structure. Based on that particular attribute, we can apply certain sort of filter while forwarding that particular message and if the filter condition is getting satisfied, then only SNS will forward that message to the destination, otherwise it will block it. So the SNS message filtering concept need message attribute along with actual message. But in this particular case, if you see from S3 only payload is going. Along with this payload, we are not explicitly adding any message attribute. So that way, in this particular context, we cannot use SNS message filtering feature or else what we need to do, we might need to put a lambda in the middle between S3 and SNS. We need to add the additional message attribute depending on certain feature and based on that, we need to filter in the SNS level, right? Because SNS message filtering only was working on message attribute. It was not working on the actual payload what S3 event is forwarding. Okay, this was happening until some time ago. But AWS realized this particular issue that we might need to put a lambda in the middle just to filter out this. But rather, if we could filter directly on the payload itself, instead of filtering on message attribute, let's filter on payload itself. So that way, SNS can forward only certain events to the D1 destination, not all. Only those events it will forward, which is having prefix of test whatever file gets landed for them the starting characters should be test then only it will forward if you want to implement that sort of mechanism then instead of filtering based on message attribute we should filter based on the payload whatever s3 is forwarding that is instead of message attribute we should apply filter on actual message what is coming in sns and aws has implemented that particular feature recently now we will try to explore that so the main concept is now SNS message filtering not only works on message attribute but it can work on actual payload also. So that way in this kind of architecture where in S3 multiple clients are uploading files with different different formats 
and here we are having SNS. I need to broadcast to multiple destination. In this case, let's consider we are having a lambda. Let's consider this is function one, and this I want to trigger if in this S3 location any file get landed with a particular prefix or some particular name, then only SNS should forward that event to this F1 lambda that we can do using SNS message filtering by directly applying the filter on the payload instead of message attribute. So that's the simple concept. Now without any further delay, let's jump into the implementation section. So what I will do first, I'll create an S3 bucket, SNS topic and one lambda function because those are necessary for this demo. So I'll search for S3 in my AWS management console and here I'll be creating a bucket. The bucket name I can give as demo yt SNS message filtering test. Some name I have given and here I will create the bucket. Okay. And parallelly I will search for SNS. Here I'll open this. And here I'll be creating a topic. Let's consider the name as SNS filter yt test. Okay. I'll click on next step. Let it be standard queue, not a problem. Access policies as of now because we are doing a POC for the feature. So I can configure everyone can publish and everyone can subscribe. And here I will be creating the topic. Okay. So here by this time our S3 bucket should be created in this window. That is done. And here our SNS topic is also created. Now as part of the next step, let's do one thing. Let's create a simple lambda function. And here I will be going to functions and create function. Here I will be providing the function name demo SNS message filtering. Okay, runtime increment I can choose 503.12 and without any other changes, I will be creating the function. So here the function is created. All I will do, I will add a simple print statement just to print the event whatever is triggering our this lambda. Okay, and here for our lambda, I will be choosing SNS as event source and here SNS topic. I'll be choosing SNS filter YT test whatever we have created and I'll simply add it. Okay, right. So now whatever message will be published in SNS topic, it will trigger our lambda function. Now from this S3 to SNS, the event should go. So for that, we need to do this particular setup S3 to SNS event sending mechanism. So for that, I will go to this S3 bucket properties and here I'll be adding this event notification. So event name demo yt test prefix suffix I am not adding all object create event right I want to make sure it is going to SNS and this is our SNS topic and I will save these changes. So now whenever a file will be uploaded in S3 it will forward the event to SNS and SNS will always trigger our lambda. Okay, but let's consider the files whatever our client is uploading in that S3. If that is starting with back, then only the lambda should be triggered. For example, back one, back two, back three. For these files upload, the lambda should be triggered. But if the files are starting with four, five, six, seven, like that, that is, if the prefix of the file name is not starting with back, then the lambda should not be triggered. That time, how to apply that filtering in SNS? That let us try to understand. Okay. So generally, this is what an S3 event looks like. You can easily get this schema from. AWS documentation. So we need to filter only certain key value pair from the payload that if these, these conditions get satisfied, then forward that particular event to the destination. And if you want to explore more about that filter properties, then you can check this documentation link, which explains in detail about different filters, what you can apply for SNS subscription filtering. Okay. So as I told you, it has two possibilities. One is message attribute. What feature was earlier also available? And the new feature they added that is message body. Now on the payload or in message body itself, you can apply the filter. Okay. So that way no need to add extra attribute for filter purpose only. And here different filter criteria also mentioned. So in this particular context, if the file name is starting with back, that means prefix matching we have to do. If the prefix of the file is back, then only it should trigger, right? So here from this particular list, here the nearest match can be string value prefix matching. That is, if prefix is getting matched, then only will forward the event. So that time we need to write the code like this way. The key we have to mention and within one array, 
we prefix and what prefix we want to match that we need to put like for example here in this documentation prefix equal to bas so it will match if it is baseball or if it is basketball like that because both are starting with bas so like that way we have to write the code or filter condition such that the value should be bag band because we want to send all those events for which the key or the file name is starting with band so let's try to edit this particular payload so here what i'll do i'll click and enter and here i'll copy that particular payload only let me just zoom this so event version event source these two obviously not needed aws region event time that also not needed not helpful for aws filter now event name so event name it is like whenever in s3 some object will be created and there it need not be only put event it can be any other category of object creation also possible like put post like that varieties are available so i want to make sure if it is object created category then only it should forward so here i want to apply a filter so how the filter will look like let me just copy this particular thing and here i want to make sure the prefix is object created that's it okay so here i will paste that and here i will delete this thing so this will make sure if the event name within our record is starting with object created then only it will pass that then user identity this also not needed request parameter response element this two not needed we will just keep only those things whatever needed and within our s3 actual event we need to check the key okay so here i can delete this schema version sorry this schema version and configuration both and here let's see that bucket is up to this so be careful while deleting the json because it might lead to invalid json if you miss some comma or curly bracket within s3 we are having object then size etext sequence number these things obviously not needed we need to check whether the key is starting with bag or not so the same kind of prefix matching filter i'll apply only thing the prefix matching should be on bag bag okay and here i can delete this particular thing so this way now our sns message filtering or payload filtering condition is ready so what it will check it will make sure that the event is object create event and in s3 whatever file got created that should have prefix back okay suppose let's consider that here within our s3 we are having a folder let's consider f1 is the folder name i'll create this folder within this f1 folder multiple files are getting landed and if the file name is starting with back then only i want to send so that time what should be the key name the key name will be complete directory and along with that file name is available right so i need to put like this way not only back i need to put f1 slash back because here if the file get uploaded and whatever is the event will generate in that case the key should be f1 slash back and the full name that can be back one dot png back one dot txt whatever right so that way we need to make sure we are putting the conditions properly so now let's put this condition in sns and here already we created the subscription for our lambda right that trigger we added so if i refresh the screen here you will see the lambda subscription is added currently it is having no filter policy there is all events whatever message will be published in sns it will simply forward but here i want to make sure it will filter first so subscription policy i will add so earlier it was allowing us only based on message attribute but here if you see now this time it is allowing based on message body as well and i'll put this okay simple and i'll save these changes and here it is throwing an error could not set the filter policy for the subscription and an error occurred while setting the attribute filter policy unrecognized match of type event name okay so basically what happens this bracket you can put only for filter matching condition in our actual s3 event whenever it publish it put this array but that we should not be putting in filter condition we can remove that and keep other part and i can save the changes and let's see and here see it is at so all we have to do we have to focus on the internal filter condition and don't put the external array whatever generally comes in the s3 event like this one. okay so this event is added and with this configuration we can hope that in this s3 bucket in the f1 folder if the files are getting published the event will be coming in sns but sns will not forward all the events to this lambda function it will only forward those events to the lambda function if the key is f1 slash bag that is bag is there in that okay 
so let's test it out so first what i will do i will upload bag one here and let's open our lambda also in the monitor section i will open this so that we can check in cloudwatch events are coming so here you can see that already we are having a log stream that means the lambda was triggered once why so it is like whenever we connect sns with aws lambda that time for testing purpose sns send some events just to check whether everything is connected properly or is there any issue or not okay so you can ignore this primary notification as of now we have not uploaded the file yet and now let's upload hopefully what should happen that because it is starting with bag and the folder is f1 so the key should be f1 slash bag that prefix condition will be matching and hopefully our lambda will be triggered and here in cloudwatch we should be seeing that log okay so here i'll upload it let's see so here the file is uploaded now here i can go back to cloudwatch and let's refresh and here you can see just now one more log stream got created and if i expand that here if i start with bag here you will see that the key is f1 slash bag.png why it is f1 slash because within f1 folder this bag1.png is coming that's why when configuring the filter condition i have given f1 slash so like that way if you have multiple directory structure you need to make sure you are fulfilling all that conditions and then apply your prefix for your actual file name level filter okay so that is done and even sns provide one particular matrix what you can check in cloudwatch so let me open cloudwatch matrix in a new tab and here you need to make sure that the region is same region where you are currently doing the experimentation and here i will go to sns within sns here let's consider our sns topic name is sns filter yt test right so for that currently we are having these four metric now let's consider one particular message was published in sns which has not fulfilled that criteria for which it will not forward that event to the destination right so if such event occurs then here one more matrix will be coming that is number of notifications filtered out that is how many notification the sns has not sent to the destination that also you can see in this cloud watch so let's start with one such example let's consider here i will upload bag 4 although this is an image of bag but here bag is not available in the file name so it will not fulfill our sns payload filter criteria and as a result it will not forward that event to the lambda and our lambda will not be getting triggered so let's see whether it is working or not so here the file is getting uploaded depending on internet speed and the file size it will take some time so the file is uploaded if I go to F1, here you can see 4.png is available, but it should not trigger our lambda function. So let's go to our lambda and let's see whether any new event is getting published or not. And even you can check your latest log also, sometimes there only it get appended. But here you can see only one time it was triggered due to earlier event bag1.png and after that no new event appeared, right? That means this particular event sns has not forwarded due to this filter policy because the key is not ending with bag right so what will happen this event will not be forwarded to the lambda and in cloudwatch in the number of notification filtered out there the count should be one because for this particular sns topic this message is not delivered okay it is filtered out because the condition is not satisfied so let's uh, refresh and let's see so here I'll go back to SNS and here I will go again go to the topic matrix and here you can see now more number of matrices are available and here you can see a metric that is number of notifications filtered out. So let's check on that so that it will be showing here and instead of line I can put this number because that will be one single value what it should be showing and here you can see the current count is one because there is one message which is not forwarded to the destination that is filtered out right so now let's see i'll be publishing one more message or i can say file in this s3 that is back 2png again this particular file name is starting with back so this will ideally trigger our lambda function so that will inspect because the condition will be satisfied so here if i go to lambda function cloudwatch logs 
and if I refresh here, you can see so one more blog got published. So let's go inside that and ideally it should be due to publish of bag 2. So here if I search with bag, here you can see the key is f1 then slash bag 2png right? Because filter condition for the key is getting satisfied. That's why SNS is forwarding that message. So let's consider another event. Let's upload two files. Okay where both of the files will not be satisfying the filter criteria 6.png 5.png both are not starting with bag their prefix is not bag as a result both of these events sns will not forward to the lambda and ideally in cloudwatch it should show within one minute that this particular count should be increased to three because earlier it filtered out one message and now this time it should filter out 5 and 6 these two events right so as a result the overall count in the last 3 hours or last 1 hour we can say should be 3 instead of 1 or there is another way to view this particular data as a graphical view you can click on graphical matrix and here instead of average you can put this to sum and instead of number we can put it as a line graph so here you can see that initially when we uploaded a file which is not satisfying the condition for the first time then only one file was there so that alone was filtered out so here if, if you put your mouse pointer here it will show number of notification filtered out is one and the next time two files we have uploaded so here if you put your mouse pointer here here it will show number of notification filtered out two that means two messages or two s3 events was filtered out so this is another way to see how many messages are getting filtered out by the SNS filter policy on the payload, not on message attribute, right? I hope you understood this. So this is a very powerful feature which you can utilize in solving all these kind of business use cases where you are having an S3 location where different clients are uploading files and you want to get only the file published event for those clients for whom the file name is starting with certain prefix or certain criteria they are matching then only you want to trigger lambda and then from there you can trigger glue or emr whatever compute environment needed that you can launch to process those files right so i hope you understood this particular important feature of sns that now not only on message attribute we can apply the filter on message payload as well so this is what i wanted to share with you all in this video just try to play with this particular feature try to implement this that way you will be getting a better idea out of it if you find this video helpful then please like, share and comment, subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you for watching.